Hey friends, so it's been a few months since uh, I've got this cabin all finished. We've used it all summer, there's been tons of people in and out, so I figured I'd give you a little walkthrough of the final uh, build and, and just give you some of my thoughts. So you can park right there, walk down this little walkway. Uh, that's the vent for the incineration toilet. You got the propane tank, one for the toilet, one for the uh, gas stove in there. This little firewood stored up for the winter. So this is the view of the back of the house. This is our rainwater collection system. Uh, I've covered it with this tarp. It's one of those 250 gallon IBC totes. Uh, covered it so that algae wouldn't grow in there. I still don't really use this as drinking water, although you could filter it and do so. I mostly just use it to wash hands and dishes and things like that. Uh, obviously it collects in the gutter, flows in there, fills up. This is the out overflow. Um, and this is the inlet that runs into the house. So that's the rainwater overflow. This is the gray water outlet from the urinal and the sinks. I'm gonna actually extend that down there and uh, put a bunch of gravel down there for that to kind of drain out the gray water into. So moving into the house, finally got the ladder attached there. Here's the little living room, lots of sleeping area in here. We've got the pull out couch those that I can lay out for people to sleep on, and even an extra mattress. We, like I said, have been using the heck out of the place all summer. Got a ceiling fan there to help circulate air. A uh, little elk I got here locally in the area. Um, and got the ladder up to the loft, so there's more sleeping area. Some boxes for storage. And the kitchen here has got everything you need. Um, again, we got some running water here, washer dishes, little shelves, gas stove, gas oven, even a refrigerator. So, uh, yeah, pretty nice. And then, of course, we got the bathroom with the faucet, again, running water into the gray water system. Um, and the Cinderella urinal and toilet. Those have been super nice. So I figured the toilet situation here would be worthy of an update and review. Um, the urinal, which I'm sitting on, is just nice because it just goes out into the gray water and you don't have to waste propane uh, burning it up. Um, the toilet itself, are you gonna, all summer has gotten lots of heavy use by a lot of different people. Uh, haven't had any issues. Uh, the one thing I would want to point out as a tip is sometimes if, say, a little kid uses the toilet and the liner doesn't have a lot of weight in it, you want to add a little extra water in that liner out of the sink just to help weight it so when you hit flush it actually falls into uh, the, the burner. So that's the only little... Thing I'd point out as far as that other than that only if the gas runs out is there any have I had any issues uh, and then you just swap the tank and keep going so I've been really happy with it it's such a nice solution it beats running around with compost toilet you know <laughs> and dumping it somewhere um, so positive reviews really good product I actually the folks at Cinderella asked me to let you know that they are looking for people to become distributors of these and other outdoor products so if you want a job <laughs> you can go to offgriddistribution.com and become a distributor of these they're made in norway so they're real high quality but they're trying to get them into the u.s market more and you know with my few months of use i can say that it's a really is a good product and such an awesome solution for these, this niche of, you know, your cabin in the woods or, or your place that can't get septic or whatever it be. Uh, so anyway, there's a little job opportunity for you too that I figured I'd mention. So again, if you want to clean the thing out, which you don't have to do very often, but 
pull it out. And that's what you have, just a bunch of old ash. Place it. This is how I did the foundation. Just mobile home blocks on, on gravel. Uh, I actually added, you can see these bottle jacks. I don't think I needed them, but I just figured with all the logs, this house is pretty heavy. I didn't want it shifting and cracking the windows or anything. Uh, that said, it hasn't done any shifting. Even the door hasn't needed adjustment so that's good you can see the plumbing running in there wires need to staple up a little better but all in all that's the underworkings so anyway that's the place uh it's been serving us really well didn't take that long to build uh, i didn't even spend that much money on it so it's been super nice to have and we'll continue getting lots of use out of it uh but yeah, figured I'd give you the final walkthrough.